Hey, and welcome to this video about installing Google Analytics in Bubble. Now, whether you're looking to install Google Analytics 4 uh, because you want to move on from Universal Analytics or you're installing Google Analytics for the first time and it just makes sense to use the most recent version, then this video is for you. What we're going to see in this video is one, the setup of Google Analytics uh, just as a blanket across all of your pages and then also some custom events. So stay tuned. Uh, if you would like to learn about that after we get the first part set up. So if you already have Google Analytics installed with Universal Analytics, you may or may not know that it's going away after July 1st, 2023. So whenever you're seeing this video, if it happens to be before then, then you probably want to uh, take note about after, after this date, you'll be able to access your old analytics uh, data for six months and then after that it's kind of gone out of Google Google Analytics dashboards so installing Google Analytics 4 is a great step to take for your bubble site now to do that we're going to be using this awesome plugin by Apptastic which I noticed out there recently only 20 installs and uh, they make a number of great plugins here so check them out props to them and shout out and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this and then we'll note that we need some uh, ID uh, IDs. So in order to get those, whether you already have a Google, Google Analytics installed or you're installing it for the first time or setting it up for the first time, we'll, I will show you a walkthrough here of where to get this number from, this ID. So if you already have Google Analytics installed, then over here, you'll probably want to create a new property. And under your property, I only have one here that I just set up. You wanna to go to data streams. And for now, we'll select web. And you'll want to grab just this part of your URL. And if you have a custom domain set up in Bubble, you'll just grab that URL and plop it in here. And then we're just gonna call this bubble test for GA4 and we'll create that stream and that will give us this measurement ID and take that measurement ID and then pop it in here. So now with that set up in here, I'm going to refresh this page and then also in Google, Google Analytics, I'm going to go over and browse to this real time area and see if we've got some data. So I'm going to refresh here and I'm gonna refresh here. Ah, oh, okay, yep, so there it is. It just took a second to come in. So we can see that uh, it sent this event of a page view, and we can just note that at this point, if all you wanted to do is install GA4 on your site, then with this plugin, by setting up like this with this ID, then that's it. Now, if you're interested in tracking additional uh, custom events on your app, then stay tuned because we're gonna dive into that. And to do that, we're gonna also set up Google Tag Manager over here and what this will do is it'll, it'll allow us to activate triggers of when we want those events to um, be fired off and have that data sent from Bubble over to Google Analytics. Now it is worth mentioning that you can track most of this data over in Bubble, but Bubble is not really a robust uh, tracking platform where you can see things, you know, trends over time, whereas Google Analytics is great for that. So that is that is one reason why to pr press on and uh, and see what this is all about for tracking custom events. And also note that if you're taking this uh, ID out of here, uh, it's, it does come with a little space on it. So make sure that that is, is not there or there's no space in front of this G because that will make it uh, not work. Okay, so then now, the first thing you want to do over in Google Tag Manager 
is add a new tag and we'll just call this the G4, the GA4 config tag. And we're going to add this GA4 and then we're going to take this measurement ID, which is this um, ID. And then we are going to uncheck send page event because this is actually already sending page events as we note over here. And two, because I had refreshed. Cool. So uh, what you want to do then here is add a trigger for all pages, hit save, and then basically we've got, uh, we, can, we can take a preview at this and just see what we've got up and running so far. So I'm going to grab all of this refresh that page, and then back over here, hit connect. And so we can see it throws up this extra window, which we don't want to close out of because it'll dis it says connected here, but it'll actually disconnect that. And then I'm just gonna browse and note here that M49 and M49 for this GTM, for this Google Tag Manager. And then of course this, uh, G4HB, which is, well, if we look at it here, this measurement ID, so we can see that over here that this tag fired, this config tag from Google Tag Manager, and then this page view was sent over here, uh, which is just showing us, you know, the tags that are happening on the page, these two separate ones so far. Okay, so now it's time to get into the world of custom events. How this works is that this plugin offers a workflow so that you can take whatever is going on in your app and send uh, data or send an event over to Google Analytics to track, okay, this or that happened. Here's a scenario, just an imaginary one I came up with. So let's imagine that we had uh, one of these kind of like swiping apps for for dogs, doggy playdates or something like that, and the owners could play, you know, meet up and and uh, and make new dog friends for for themselves, for their dogs or for themselves. However, uh, and let's pretend that within this app, someone can match three times with other people, and then after a third time, they need to subscribe or pay to continue using the app. So let's pretend that us as the app owners, we're interested in knowing, okay, out of all the people that come to our app and sign up. How many of those actually um, make it to the to three matches? Because those are the, we want to know that because we want to encourage that behavior in some way, and then we want to uh, just kind of know that because that directly le leads to the revenue for this app. So that's our kind of pretend scenario. So we're going to come here and we're going to say third third match custom event, and then this time in our tag configuration we're going to go. Go Google Analytics GA4 event, and then under configuration tag, we're going to grab that one that we already set up, this kind of general one, and then we'll say here, custom event, third, actually I'm going to say custom third match event. I'm kind of doing these a little bit different so you can see, the, uh, see what will actually show up in the labeling over in Google Analytics. Because if they're the same, then you don't know, did it come from here or did it come from here? So, okay, then we're gonna add in just this little item ID and grab the value of click ID here. Okay, so that's set up now for the tag. Now for our custom trigger. And this is where we go and we find third match custom trigger. So here we go and we find this trigger and we find the custom event. And then we'll say third match event. Now, important point about this box here, you'll wanna make sure that you copy this character for character, so just do a control C on it. So we're gonna save this trigger and with this event name, and then we'll save that out. And then now over in Bubble, if we look at our workflows, there, there's nothing in this one because this is just kind of a sample setup um, uh, page here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at a workflow on this one. And remember, I'm kind of faking, I'm faking something that's happening in, happening in, in the app uh, and obviously you have, you know, a number of workflows. And so what you would be doing is you would be going plugins, GTM custom event, and just insert this event into the workflow where something is happening that you want to track. Okay. So with that set up there, I'm going to go back and refresh this page. And then I'm going to refresh the preview here.
And then, let's see. I'm not sure what happened to our other page. So we might have to, I think it's this one. Yep, okay, cool. So uh, you'll note that when you when you set up a preview here, it actually pops up this panel. And it, note it has this GTM debug on here. And if you happen to close this window, uh, the, the testing that you do won't actually work. So what I'm showing off here is that when we click this, third match has been created. And now I will go back to this one over here. We can see that here for tags fired, underneath this GTM here, this third match custom event has been fired. And so we can see, here it is. If we look under this or this, all the, all the different, these are just different views that kind of show similar things filter differently. But now if we go back over here and we check out, uh, let's see. This here, this custom third match event has been fired and it shows up here in Google Analytics. So a recap quick of what did we just do? Well, we decided about an event that's happening over in Bubble and we decided to add a workflow to that and then push the data over through the setup that we just did over here with this uh, special third match custom event. And then of course you need to add this one just once this GA config tag once and put it on all pages. And then basically you can imagine that as you move forward and do all the tracking for your app and decide all of the different things that you want to track, then you can, um, this would fill up with that. And of course I'll add here that if you would like help with one of those, please reach out to me. I do offer some consulting services. So um, let's see. This is if you want to track something that's happening in your app, maybe triggered by other workflows, but there's, if you're going to track buttons, we're gonna close this video out with an easier way to do that. So over here in your settings panel under general, make sure that this is clicked, this option to expose ID attribute, ID attribute to HTML elements. Make sure that is checked. And then over here, we're going to make up this ID attribute shake and bake and this is this is maybe a button that somebody clicks to upgrade and then they're given an offer and so maybe, perhaps we want to track that track that so over here in google tag manager to do that what we're going to do is we're going to add a new we're going to say upgrade button event and then we'll do another event here same thing with this tag and uh let's see we'll just say uh, upgrade button click and then again here adding this click ID and then for the trigger this time we are going to use upgrade button trigger we're going to use uh, this click on all elements, but we only want to do it on some. And this is where this click ID comes in. And then we'll say that it equals to, and then, so we're just going to just copy this straight out of here and over in here, shake and bake. And then we'll click save. And then we'll reload our preview here. So it's reconnecting. And then we can see that these tags are not fired. However, back over on this page, our thing, our page that is connected to the debugger, we're gonna hit a pretend upgrade button. And with that click, now we can see over here, this upgrade button event, upgrade button click has been clicked. So here on the summary tab, we can see all the stuff that fired. And then here on the click one, if we look just for those clicks, we can see this. So this is kind of how you go about, you know, making sure that your tracking is set up properly as you're building out all the different things that you want to track in your app. And then of course, final test is to come back over here and we can see that this upgrade button click just came in. And so that event was sent there. If you like this video, please like or subscribe and thanks for watching. <laughs>